That was a special report by our correspondent Mina Rishemone on World Blood Donor Day. Moving on to other stories, Anambra State House of Assembly has backed out of the proposed grazing bill expected to be presented to the State House of Assembly for debate and approval. Speaker of the Anambra State House of Assembly, Mrs. Rita Madwagu, stated this while briefing newsmen on her scorecard in the past one year in office being marked today. She said the stakeholders, elders, the clergy and the Anambra League of Professionals had roundly kicked against the bill and advised the legislative chamber to distance itself from it in the interest of the citizenry and the Igbo race in general. Madwagu said that within the past one year under her watch as Speaker of the Anambra State House of Assembly, four bills had been passed as well as ten amended bills. She thanked the state governor, Chief Willie Obeano, for giving the lawmakers enabling environment to function as an arm of government, adding that there had been cordial relationship between the executive and the legislature. Meanwhile, in a related development, angry youth from the 17 local government areas of the Plateau State. Meanwhile, in a related development, angry youth from the 17 local government areas of Plateau State stormed Plateau State's government house, protesting against Governor Simon Lalong's alleged plan to make land available for the controversial grazing bill reserve project without consultation with the people. And now on to some business news. The World Bank says it has so far spent about 7.78 .7 billion naira, that is about $39 million, on the third national for Adama development project additional financing as part of efforts to support Nigeria's agriculture and economic diversification drive of the federal government. The bank also said in a statement signed by its task team leader, Dr. Adetunji Oredipe, that it would commence its Fadama implementation support mission from the 10th to 27th of June across eight states of the country in conjunction with the Federal Ministries of Finance and Agriculture. The bank noted in a statement that its board had approved additional IDA credit of 200 million US dollars on June 28, 2014 to assist the federal government of Nigeria to scale up the impact on the ground and strengthen the development effectiveness of the third national Fadama development project by aligning it more closely with the government's agricultural programs. It added that the additional financing would support clusters of farmers in six selected states with comparative advantage and high potential to increase production and productivity of cassava, rice and sorghum, as well as horticulture value chains and link them to better organized markets. ABN News will go on a short break and when we return, the impoverished southern parts of Egypt is particularly struggling with a new wave of water crisis. These are more when we return from this short break, stay tuned. Hello, I'm Shengo Mana, and we believe that entrepreneurship is something we must develop in Africa and indeed the developing economies of the world. That is why we have this program called Let's Talk Business. On this station, we are you to watch because we sit down with entrepreneurs and they encourage you on how to develop your own entrepreneurship business. Keep watching Let's Talk Business on this station.